What is up YouTube Vape Nation? This is Pat or Alice 9 with another review. This time it's going to be the E-Leaf iJust 21700 with Elo Duro Tank. Wow, that's impressive. Um, I don't think I could have come up with that name. Anyway, this is the device. Uh, we will take it down low and we will check it out. I'll go over in detail the device and what comes with it in the box and all that stuff that always happens in all these reviews and we'll do all that stuff. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll give you a little vape on it now. Just give you a little preview. I like it. Oh, spoiler, sorry. Spoiler alert, I like it. Anyway, but uh, I got the black one. Uh, I was sent this, sent this to me. I had this sent to me for the purpose of the review by the people at E-Leaf. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, we will go over, we will see what's happening. I just said all that stuff. But, uh, anyway, yeah, let's take it down low, let's see what's going on. We'll come back up top. I, I, we'll come up at, we'll come back up top, is what I'm trying to say. And I'll give you my final thoughts on the E-Leaf iJust 21700 with Elodora Tank. Ah, <gasps> cool. See you down low. All right, here we are on the down low portion of the review. Here is the box for the iJust 21700 with Elo Duro Tank. Uh, I got the black one. Got some social media info here. Nothing on that side. We just got some uh, e leaf information there. And on the back, you have some information uh, what it contains. Uh, it is a 5.5 mil capacity. Uh, a couple of coil heads with it. Uh, maximum output is 80 watts. Input voltage 5 volts. Uh, you can see what else comes in the package here. Uh, so you can read that in more in depth if you want to. Let's get the box open. Now I've already been using it, so I've got the tank filled. But here's your tank, and uh, it's got like a little, it looks like a little fishy, a little fishy going on there. But uh, I've already got some e-liquid in this one. Uh, here's the iJust 21700 here. So here's the Elo Duro. Here's the mod itself. Um, already, I already have a battery in here. I'm going to go ahead and let me give you a look on the top there. Uh, on the bottom of the tank, got Elo Duro, E-Leaf branding. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that on. Then it, mine came with a 21700 battery. Now, uh, the one I had, I actually already ripped the wrap on it, so I had to rewrap it. Uh, not sure exactly what kind it is. I can't remember what kind, but uh, I went ahead and switched it to a... Uh, a Samsung 30T, so that's what I have in mind now. Um, but uh, it's pretty well done. I mean, look, you can see it's pretty well machined there. You've got your uh, negative post marked there. It's springy. Um, it goes on pretty well, I would say. And then here, pull the battery out. And you can see it's marked pretty clearly. You've got your plus sign down there. Uh, it's just metal on the inside. Um, so we'll throw our battery back in. Yeah, it's pretty clearly marked negative side there. And uh, when you screw this on, it's got a nice, smooth machining, so it screws on nice and evenly. Then, see, for me, it's, it's on immediately. And uh, pretty quick to operate, just five clicks off, five clicks on. One thing I notice about it is that there is a light back there. I don't even know if you can see it with the overhead light I have on right now. I don't know if you can tell, but... There is a little green light in the background, but it's really difficult to see. If you're in the dark, you can see it, but otherwise, really, for me to tell if it's on, I listen. I don't look, uh, just to make sure it's on. So, anyway, you've got your uh, the top. I mean, it's not. I don't really see any markings on which way to push it. It is a push cap. Um, I just have to kind of feel for it. It's right there. There it is. So anyway, just, uh, you know, push to fill or uh, rather slide to fill. And I've just got some, uh, a fruity flavor in here and, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So here, I'll give you a quick vape. Anyway, the airflow on it, there are three airflow, uh, slots on the AFC, and just like all the other tanks we see all the time, it's just turn, you know, it stops in both directions. It's simultaneous adjustment. Um, I'm finding that the airflow is a little much for the most part. I find I have to keep it closed to about, 
I don't know, 80% or so. By the way, you can see the light back through the charging port here. This is the charging port. You can see the light a little bit better through there. Um, but yeah, I find I have to keep it closed off about 80% or so in order to get a really, um, you know, the air restriction that I want when it's open all the way, uh, you really get a lot of airflow here. You can hear how much airflow that is. That's a lot. Now, if I close it up to where I normally vape, maybe like 80%, and here's what it sounds like. I've heard a couple of people say it's louder when you close it up more. I actually think it is quieter. I don't think it's obnoxiously loud. No, not too bad. Um, but that's basically the kit itself. Uh, let me go ahead and normally I show you what's in the box first, but I went over the kit first. But hey, it's good to change it up occasionally. So um, here we have, if I turn it right side up, we have the iJust 21700 user manual itself in multiple languages. It's uh, like a basically an old roadmap folds open. And then we've got the Eloduro quick start guide. Same thing, it just unfolds every which way. Uh, uh, it's you know multiple languages there and also in the box you have a really nice USB charging ca uh, cable on this one um, it's pretty thick it looks like it's really well made I like the way eLeaf has been doing these uh, I think it's pretty good quality I really like that one then you've got your spare glass now this is made of like acrylic material this is not glass um, it's like some kind of plastic but it's been holding up pretty well for me but the replacement for it is a straight glass. So if you're gonna throw that on there, you got a straight glass to throw on there. Um, since I have liquid in there and I can't really show you inside, um, I can show you the coil. So here's your bag of extras. You've got a spare uh, gasket there. You actually have like a, a membrane uh, gasket if you wanna put that on. Obviously O-rings, the standard stuff that you get. Um, you do have a 18650 adapter. If you so desire to use an 18650, you can throw that on there. Uh, that's nice. So you can use 18650, 2700, 21700 if you want. Here's the coils. These are like the, uh, like, you know, the coils that are for like the NRG. Um, so, or, or like the GT coils that they have, um, I feel like the Vapor Esso coils. Uh, so you've got this little guy in the middle, uh, DJLSB actually took this apart in his review. And uh, this is not um, like double mesh, I guess, like some people think. That's not, there's not, you know, like mesh on, on the cotton on the outside and then uh, more mesh on the inside. That's just a post in the middle. And it's supposed to be uh, self-cleaning, quote-unquote, but I think that's mostly just because of like the little openings on the bottom are supposed to remove condensation. So I don't know really how self-cleaning it actually is. Um, but that's the contents of the box. Uh, that's everything there. There's no menu to go over. Obviously, it's just, um, it's just a uh, straight-up output device. So we'll take it back up top. I will give you my final thoughts on the eLeaf iJust 21700 with Elo Duro Tank. I don't think it's a long enough name. I think the name needs to be longer. Well, that is it. You have just seen the detailed explanation and uh, viewing of the eLeaf iJust 21700 with Elo Duro Tank. Uh, overall, I gotta say, I like it. Uh, at first, I, I feel like the coil needed some time to break in. Um, when I first started using it, I was like, where's the flavor at first? And it took a little bit of break in time. I don't always find that with devices, uh, like a lot of the pod systems I've tried, which I, I should have more reviews coming on those soon. But uh, a lot of the pod systems I tried, like they seem like they're pretty much ready to go right off the bat. Uh, same thing with a lot of the uh, coils I've tried. Sometimes there's break in time, sometimes there's less or none. But with this, I think I might have had the most break-in time needed for any uh, pre-built coil that I've had. But once it did start going, then the flavor is great. I actually really like the flavor on this. I would have to say it took, though, around like, you know, 50 to 100 puffs on it to really get to the point where I was like, oh, I'm actually really able to tell now. Uh, and, you know, I let the coil soak for a while like you normally are supposed to do and everything, and it still took you know, 50 to 100 puffs, I would say, to really kind of blossom into a flavor explosion like all the uh, gum commercials try to convince you 
happens. But uh, no, it's it's pretty good flavor, I would have to say. Um, you know, I don't know what the price point is on it. I think it's around like forty dollars. I don't know if all of them come with the battery or not. Uh, but this did come with the twenty one seven hundred. Um, it's uh, not like a Samsung or anything. I can't remember the name. Uh, that's, I had to rewrap it. I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, but the uh, battery seems decent. I haven't any trouble with the battery life on it, uh, with the battery that came with it. Uh, with the Samsung 30T I have in here, uh, the battery life is better even, I would say. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I think I like the design of it. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the... Uh, yeah, the color black I like. You know, I don't know about like the little fishy thing happening here. I, that's a little different. Um, that might not have been my first design choice, but I'm not gonna not use it because of that. I, it's it's all right. It's kind of cool. Um, I think I probably would have gone with glass on the uh, tank material, or if they were gonna give you a replacement glass, give you a replacement glass that's shaped like this so you're not stuck with a, a smaller capacity because this is five and a half mil and the straight glass I'm, i don't know what it takes it down to but i'm sure it takes it down some so it would have been nice to have a glass version of this uh included with it um the slide cap on top only one thing i've noticed it's it's convenient to use but it does slide open pretty easily it's a little wobbly um you know, the drip tip, it's kind of cool. You know, the drip tip, I like. The only problem with this, though, and I didn't show you this in the down low, is that there's uh, rubber O-rings on that. So it is proprietary, unless you have a replacement drip tip that has uh, the O-rings on there. Um, you're going to have trouble getting a drip tip to fit in this. Um, but the drip tip that comes with it is fine. Uh, you know, I think it, it works well. It's not too long. It's not too short. Um, and I, I do like it. I think it matches well. So the drip tip I think is okay, but yeah, I just do I do have a problem with the sliding uh, top a, a little bit. Just there's no marker to to tell you where to slide it open. So I'm just kind of like feeling around like an idiot sometimes to try to figure out where it opens, and it is just a little. See, I got a little juice, a little juice on me, but it is a little on the loose side. Uh, but other than those couple things, um, you know, I'm not getting a battery rattle. Maybe the slightest little battery rattle in there. It's not a maraca, so that's, oh, I feel like the, something shook there, and I think it might have been the top cap. Well, anyway, but overall, I do feel like it's a pretty solid device. Uh, the flavor is, I'd say, the most impressive thing about it for me. Uh, I was just really surprised that it took that long to kick in, but I really do like the flavor on it. Um, I've just been vaping. Uh, it's called Betsy, which is like a version of Betty uh, from that one vape. Uh, I really love stuff by that one vape, and uh, the flavor on it is is very good. It's on point. I really like it. Uh, the self-cleaning part of it, I have no idea what that actually means or what that does. Um, I haven't noticed anything with it. It hasn't changed the functionality as far as I can tell. Um, so I can't really speak to the efficacy or you know lack of e efficacy for the self-cleaning thing. Um, but, uh, anyway, overall, I'd say for the price that they're charging for it, um, you know, if you get one that includes the battery, I don't know. I mean, if you really want something that's like a pen device, more like a pen shaped device like this, then I would look into it. But if I'm really being honest, I think that you can spend that same amount of money. And if you're looking for, for it, you, you can get like a, a dual 18650 mod, that's pretty nice. That actually is, um, you know, has a lot more options, uh, variable wattage, uh, temperature control and all that stuff for about the same price. Um, you might not be able to get a full kit with the tank for that price, but you know, sometimes you can find some deals. Um, so I would probably advise going in that direction, try to get like a dual 18650 for around the same price. But like I said, if you really want like a, a pen, like device like this I do think it's a good choice um, I'm definitely happy with it I'm glad I have it it'll stay in my rotation for quite some time um, I definitely use it it's not a bum it's a good device but uh, anyway that's how I feel about it so that is all for now uh, I just want to mention uh, I'm sorry about the microphone quality if it's not good my external mic is not working right now uh, I mean it works but it's I'm getting this crackling sound uh, and it trust me it would drive you nuts if you're watching the video and you're hearing this constant 
it's like uh, Rice Krispies in the background, basically, is what's going on with that. So, um, sorry, I haven't posted anything for a while. I haven't really been able to get around to making as many videos as I would like. Um, I know I have so many fans out there, right, that are dying and, and just waiting with bated breath to see videos from me. I'm kidding. But, uh... Anyway, so hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff up here soon. I plan on reviewing maybe a couple more pods. I've, I've got a bunch of stuff that's uh, that's just sitting around. It, I, it, none of it's very new. It's all stuff that's been out, and you can find other reviews online. But I figure I've got it, and uh, if I have an opinion on it, I might as well post a review on it, even if it's been out for some time. So I think that's pretty much it for now. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, call your mom, make sure she's all right. Um, make sure you, uh, feed the dog, um, anything else I can think of that I forgot, but, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping by San Diego, and, uh, I will just see you next time. Peace.